Oh, here are my things. Okay, let me just play me. Okay, I will in just a second, but first I want to see a few more things through here. So we have, we have this again. We have the tree, water, fire, wind, and then another symbol there, which I believe that sort of triangle with the line through it, I thought the fire was drawn in that on the one journal page. I wonder if that's going to have anything to do with... Hmm. All right, well, they go to certain numbers. Interesting. Oh. Huh. You know, I don't know. But we'll find out. Okay, I wanted to just sort of glance through this again and see if it illuminated anything else. It is illuminating something over here. So let's see this. Is this sort of... It's a small, simple key. Maybe it fits the desk. It's a small, simple key. I picked Maybe up a small key. Um, it's an old table lamp. <laughs> is this supposed to be like a hint thing? Because I thought it was just going to reveal different things, but it's definitely making certain things sparkle. Like, hey, come here and come look at this. And that's not what I want. I kind of just want to go around clicking and exploring things myself. So maybe I will hold off, I say, as I click it again. I just wanted to see if... Interesting. I just wanted to see if maybe it would do anything. Wow. Oh, blast from the past. What are these? Nope. Hacking. Dang it. Wrong button. Amazi. Guitar Piccolo. Flight Wolf. <laughs> Merida. That's funny. That is a really cute little piggy. Okay, I'm gonna click on the tape, tape recorder, recorder that says play the me. The post-it says play me. Yes, yes That's I That's definitely Grandpa's handwriting. Hello, this is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. So if anyone else is listening, they can start off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means, well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. I, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother, but there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it, it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help, but I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame. All you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Oh, that's Goodbye, clever. Grandpa. Aww. That... <laughs> that started playing and he started talking to her and I just got so emotional already. This is, um... A little bit relevant to my current life this situation but um it just gave me my hint it, it gave me my hint for the order to do these in uh, the order he said them in from the tallest tree and then I, just, I don't remember exactly what he said oh this is really sweet you just have to look for them that's really sweet I wonder if the um, 
looking at the cassette tape, oh, thank goodness, looking at the cassette tape, you can read out what it says. So if you hadn't just guessed the puzzle like I did, it says, from the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look, which is what I did. The tree, the river, the wind, and the flame. So I, that's when I would have got my necklace if I'd done it in that order. Okay, so I found the little key, and she said something about the desk. I'm assuming it actually goes to this clock, of course, because there's a very small keyhole here. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. No, okay, so it does go to the desk. Okay, maybe it goes to his working desk. Because I'm not seeing a... I'm not seeing a keyhole. Oh, yep, sure are. There are keyholes on every single one of these. Can I put the journal I pages? See if I can find the missing pages before moving this. Okay, so there's more than two. They may have said how many there are. I don't a desk know. drawer. It's empty. I kind of... I want to be able to open the bottom one. It's like the burglar's order, right? You go from the bottom to the top. Okay, so let's see what's hey, in here. What's this? Picked up a journal, and photograph. Open desk drawer. Oh, bananas! Don't be, don't you sass me. This seems to belong to the diary. Okay, so I picked up a journal, photo, and a journal page. Let's look at the photo. An old photograph found in Grandpa's desk. It says Sultan Hassan Mosque Madrasa. Egypt, 1966. Must have been from one of his trips. Hmm. And then journal page number four. I'm a little tempted to not read it until I find three, but this is the order I'm finding them in. So, And look, there's that triangle symbol. All I've worked for, it's here. I know it. The necklace in the temple of, in China made all the difference, and now I'm finally in Africa, hoping to set the burning sensation of curiosity to peace. The symbols line up, and my calculations were correct. The anonymous mail I received helped on a grand scale, but I have still not managed to figure out the sender. Regardless, the last piece of knowledge should be here, in Egypt, and after having evaded my guide, I now have found the symbols. It's time. Time to learn what is behind these strange connections and events. Okay. And just some more papers. All right. A pretty fancy looking compass. Nah. I can find my way back to the train station without it. That's a really nice binocular. Monocular? Um, this will be perfect for my next sail across the seven seas. But I'll leave it where it is for now. This is sweet. It just, it's making me smile. I, it's just making me smile. I'm gonna leave that one for last. Empty. Empty desk drawer. Could okay, here's one another one. Pages? I picked up a journal page. I'm gonna open these. An open desk drawer. Girl, I want you to look at the pencil and see what sassy thing you have to say about it. An open desk Nothing? drawer. Nothing? Okay. You just sassed me so hard on the other ones. Okay, there's a letter combination on this box. Oh, this tin box looks fairly old and has a combination lock on it. Part of me is just immediately like, well, we should try Pixie because it has five letters and that's what he called us. But I'm going to read my thing first. Journal page number three. The alchemic symbol of Earth combined with the Chinese one. While a trip has yet again gone well, and my research has once again led me to these symbols, I can draw no conclusion. I have spent most of my life researching these mythological connections. Yet again, I reach my destination, and nothing. Almost as if this is all an extremely elaborate prank. I sometimes wonder if my daughter is right. Months, nay, years of planning, only to eventually find a temple or shrine with another symbol, another riddle, and another clue. However, at the same time, it feels like I am so close to finding something. It cuts off. Interesting. Okay. It doesn't just cut off. Like, his pen trails down the page there. Look at that. Maybe he was close to finding something. Although that's page three and not four. What could the combination be? It's locked. Okay, Grandpa. I need a clue to unlock this box. So if you're here... A S. Guess I'll have to work it out myself then. Oh. 
A, S, so there's blank things. There's an F, an L, A, F, L, R, I, D. Okay. O, A. And then the last one has an N, an H, an E, and an R. Okay, well, I'm going to keep looking for information, but just to see if there's... Because, you know, I it would have been nice to have, like, heard the clue and then do that, but I just An open went desk right door. ahead for it. An open desk drawer. No, come back here. Come back here, you, you little goofer. I want to see this. An open desk drawer. Honey? Stop telling me it's an open desk drawer. I know. I know it's an open desk drawer. I kind of don't want to look through this because I don't want it to be like Hint Town, but I'm still wondering if this shows different things versus being hints. Okay. So I need to figure out this combination lock. Helen, can I? I should see if I can find the. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving. Okay, so there's some more page. There's some more. There's nothing in here. Hmm. What's this? That's my necklace. I picked up a journal page. Journal page five. Elfston. Elfston. Also sometimes known as troll stones. The subject of Scandinavian folklore, normal rocks with holes in them the size of an acorn were considered lucky, otherworldly, and useful. Hung from the necks of livestock, it would protect them and their farmers alike from malicious predators, trolls, and even incubi. In some tales, the owner of a true elfstin is also able to see the otherwise invisible common troll through the hole of the rock. While several of these were on display, only one of them looked to be the one I was looking for. Carved in a way that no average jeweler could and with ore in place of where a hole should be. I didn't acquire it through the most honest of means, but no one came to harm, and I'm sure its disappearance won't be noticed. I do wonder how it fits into all of this, though. I must study it thoroughly. Hmm. Okay, well, there's my necklace. 